by cooling. Now this point is required in some processes like plastic molding, rubber molding, die casting. So die cooling means air or any coolant is passed or water is passed through the die cavities. And because of water circulation, immediate cooling takes place. So there are two functions over here. One is it improves the production rate. So what happens when you provide the cooling, cycle time is reduced and production rate is increased. Another important thing is that solidification should be proper. Means if the cooling is not proper, it may affect the product. Means there will be defects like shrinkage and warpage, that type of defects may occur on the components. So as a tool design engineer, you must know what are the various defects, okay? So this is a negative part, but you must understand what is a good part, right? Like in other examples, if you see, like TV news channels, whole day we see very so many negative things so negative things are sometimes important to understand what is good thing okay that's it so die cooling nowadays you can provide uh, what is important die cooling what kind of that cavity you are providing what is the diameter of that cooling channel what is the distance between your profile and that cooling channel how many number of channels you are providing what is the type of circulation you are providing? All these aspects are important. Flow rate is important. There are so many things, okay? So this is related to heat transfer subject. And nowadays softwares are available and it's just you import that CAD software. Now we are using Moldex software for analysis. So what is the procedure there? When you have a model, say for example, same component I'm taking. So this is a component. And when you have a 3D model, you import that file in the software, Moldex software, and that software will give you idea about how many channels are required and what should be the placement of channels. So nowadays, these softwares are also helping us. Next point is heat treatment of dyes. Okay, sometimes heat treatment is very required in some cases like forging dyes, press tool dyes, plastic molds, and die casting dyes. So what is important here? Important thing is, what is the hardness? Basically, hardness is important. So what is the value you are providing? What kind of process you are using? Because there are so many processes like surface hardening, through hardening, vacuum hardening. Then, very important thing is that when you are going for heat treatment, what is its effect on the accuracy? Because sometimes there are some defects because of heat treatment that you have to understand, okay? And hardness when you are providing, how to test that hardness that you must know. So these are the branches. Friends, this is one subject, topic, and there are so many branches. Like if we consider the heat treatment, then the branches are there. What is how to check the hardness? What is the hardening process? Then how to improve the hardness? What are the elements like carbon percentage, for example? It mainly depends on the carbon percentage. So that root branches also you have to explore, right? Next point is die clamping. Die clamping means any die, how you are going to clamp that die on the machine. So what is the provision there on the machine? That slots, if there are T slots or uh, tappings are there or clearance hole is there that you have to understand. And similar design, similar arrangement, you have to create on your die. So when you are assembling the die on the machine, there should not be any problem while doing this. So die clamping means basically, size of that screw or bolt, location of that bolt, what is the machine layout you have to understand. So that is the input required for designing this. Next point is die lifting. See, lifting means what? Suppose die is not in a working condition. It is in storage area. So how you are taking that die to the machine? So you should have some provision. So you can provide lifting holes, you can have lifting lugs, okay? That design you have to do. So these are the elements you have to understand how you are going to do this. These are all operating systems. For example, like in a particular company, there are various departments like department production is there, quality is there, manufacturing engineering is there, R&D is there, marketing, purchase, sales, everything, right? Similarly, as a diet designer, you must know all the systems, functionings, 
and then there are so many branches that also you have to understand right so die lifting means you should have to provide proper lifting as well because one thing here input i would like to give you most of the companies accidents are happening because of this failure means you 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 find out the data and you'll find that most of the time the accident happen because of failure of eye bolt because eye bolt is required for lifting purpose and there is the main problem so what are the various reasons so the reason may be the bolt material is not proper generally high tensile bolt is there proper hardness is required that is not there because it is a safety related atom and if that is not properly checked then such type of things happens or another point is that that engagement is not proper proper engagement is required engagement means what when you are fitting the screw what is the engagement means how deep your engagement is there that is called as a thread engagement that should be proper so all these are the points the die tolerance of course you must know what should the die tolerance here a very important tip i am giving you how to decide the die tolerance so this is general tip you can note it down if your component accuracy is plus minus 0.5 mm then 10 times better accuracy you have to provide in the die or tool so what is the accuracy you have to provide in the die or tool 0.05 mm got this point if it is 0.5 mm on the component provide 50 microns in the die uh, there are various aspects now again there is a very big subject we will have a separate session on this tolerance also we will plan another session because this is also very important area and how to decide the tolerances we will have a separate session on that next fundamental is die surface finish so when you are manufacturing the die what is the surface finish you want so there are surface finishes measured in terms of microns so symbols are there like n11 n9 n6 you must be using a double triangle sing, single triangle triple triangle right so you must know what type of surface finish you are providing so generally in case of plastic molds you provide triple triangle or n6 in case of pattern in case of sand casting you can go for double triangle also that is okay so again there are many factors because when you want to go for improving the surface finish value you are adding the cost isn't it because if some job you are machining by milling process and if you are if you want to improve the surface finish you have to go for grinding so grinding requires more cost no so that design engineer has to understand next point is die strength again it's a huge topic die strength how you can achieve this previously some points we have already discussed proper material selection proper factor of safety there should not be any weak section then proper hardness heat treatment requirement handling all these things comes under this die safety again it's a very basic basic design parameter it is applicable to all types of design whether you are working in r&d or you are working in robotics any design die safety is a design point that's it and how to improve this or what are the measures so many things a simple tip i am giving you if you need component you are say suppose a plate you have manufactured okay so you have created a design a simple note is required remove sharp edges and burr that note is related to die safety okay you can go for the fillet also like that next one is die location die location again location is a huge, huge subject die location means you can go for a tenon you can go for a dowel so dowel is a very important tool as far as die designing is concerned then uh, there are other points also die operating system then loose piece mechanism uh, friends we will have a separate lecture for loose piece mechanism this is a very interesting part we will arrange one more section just we are touching the subject point so you can note down all these points and uh, design for manufacturing that is one more point that is related to uh, ease of manufacturing means when you are designing any product you have to see that how you can go for ease of manufacturing this will improve your quality of the product this will reduce the cost 
this will reduce the handling time this will reduce the number of working people and overall cost and quality is also improved one more point is there that is design for assembly dfa that is ease of assembly a simple point i am explaining you when two parts are assembled take one example of a dowel okay you have to provide a chamfer at the end that is the example of this right that means you are providing a chamfer for ease of assembly these are very minor points simple points but this affects a lot and one more point is parting line session parting line just we understood parting line means a line which splits the component profile into two die halves so this is a line which is called as a parting line and if you know how to design the parting line 40% of die designing is over here friends this is a very important subject in any die design and how to decide the parting line that is a very huge subject but i will give some tips your parting line should be very simple parting line as far as possible go for straight parting line because what happens if the parting line is zigzag the appearance is affected because some components are aesthetically very important like car body components okay dashboard or uh, bonnet fender or uh, bumpers okay their mismatch is not allowed mismatch is allowed on the parts which are under body so when you are selecting a right parting line then all these problems are minimized okay so these are the various points friends uh, i wanted to share with you